It's strong. He knew you would come here. Ah, so it's just like riding out of being, except creepier. Oh boy. Kill that thing? As you command. Okay. Hey, try not to die, okay? As you command. <laughs> okay. Kill it. Quickly. There we go. There's still one bastard down there. It's not. Okay. I gotta say, I definitely prefer flying the skies of Skyrim than this. So, Rota, are you so easily swayed? Oh boy. No, not yet. We should greet our guest first. And so the first Dragonborn meets the last Dragonborn at the summit of Apocrypha. No doubt, just as Hermaeus Mora intended, he is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus, Subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. Okay. This would be a good time to use that, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's make sure I actually know it. Arden, I hope you're right. What did he just do? Okay, that didn't seem to work. Ow! Weak in the body so that the mind follows. That's probably the best way to do this. Well, I know where he's going to be. different ideas about fate myself. Shout 
Yeah. How's that feel? Your thumb is weak, Dragonborn. My thumb may be weak, but my heart is for sure stronger than yours. This cannot be. I am master of my own fate. Yes, you are. So stand up and act like it. You are the true Dragonborn. <sighs> well, I am the true something for sure. So, you're free of Hermimora's mind tentacles now, I assume? I am done being Hermaeus Mora's pawn. Good. Get to think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. <laughs> now is the time for this. That's a bad idea. Okay. a lot of things. I'm not sure how many of them I agree with. That's going to be fun. Oh! What the? Wait. Did that come from me? Okay. This calls for a champion.
Oh, hi. I may look small, but I am so much stronger. When the shadows fall, I will be waiting. The moons are rising. thought as you do, I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. Sure. You say that. And yet... Thanks, Hakon. being Hermaeus Mora's pawn. Of course you are. Come with me. Not yet. In order to subdue this chaotic world, to set things right, I must return to this realm in full. Hmm. Alright. Let me know when your preparations are finished. Whatever those might be. Well. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Hello. I think those need to stay here. Nah. <laughs> Much as I've given fate 
Some things to think about today. I think I'd best be getting back the old-fashioned way. Welcome back. Thanks. Oh, you got new spikies? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit more dragony than usual, I guess. I kind of like it. So, everyone who was working here just kind of walked away. I assume that means it worked? Yeah. Yeah. And Hermaeus Mora no longer has a champion. Oh, nice. So, whatever Arden said helped? <laughs> it did. Alright, let's get back to Yarnvita, shall we? And Freya. Hi. <laughs> what? What are you giggling about? Just... Oh. Hey, wrong way. Is there a right way to get out of here? I assume there must be, but I don't know where. Oh. That was the right way. Just giggling. Thank you, Kine. And... Talos. And Wolfarth. And even Pelinal. Thank you, everyone I used to be. Hopefully I can carry that strength into the future. If I can get back with Mord, good. Eh, she'll catch up. Probably. Oh, good. We don't have to worry about you getting all weird. Nope. Well, I mean, I'm always weird, but... <laughs> we don't have to worry about you getting hairy. Eh. Well, look, it's snowing. Kind is pleased. I should hope so. But hey, gods. It feels like... There's just... Like a shadow lifted. You know? I guess so. Freya! I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Well... Storin didn't die for nothing. Mirak will never threaten Solstheim again. Thank you. Whatever your other reasons for acting, you have done the Skull a great service. 
We will not forget what you have done. One more thing, Skullfriend. If you will. Yeah. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice? Of warning. You are the shaman. I could use any advice you could give me. As shaman of the skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the skull, you are skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down that path. The Allmaker made you dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. Thank you, Freya. Well. Oh. You're back. Yeah. How are you? Eh. You know. Ready for a good night's sleep for once. <laughs> Suppose so. Here, or should we trek all the way to Raven Rock? Well, I do intend to leave. In the morning, at least. At some point. I'd like to go back to Skyrim. I'm still the Harbinger, so... No matter how much I'd like to stay here and catch up with... People I left behind and the home I left behind... It's not my home anymore. Well... Gran? And I need some space besides. That is fair. Right, Raven Rock it is then. Okay. Follow me. So... That whole thing about... Becoming his successor. Did you? I have absolutely no intention of serving Hermaeus Mora or any Daedric Prince. Or anyone, for that matter. I know my place. And my place isn't necessarily... ...under anyone's thumb. Hey, hey look at you! <laughs> Spoken like a true... I don't know. Eh, take it easy, Ben. I am trying. I'm just... I couldn't help but think that... You and Hela are really the only family I have left now. Hey. Well, I mean, the companions are sort of your new family. And... You know, Kinoa, sort of, and the others. Not necessarily family family, but... I mean, you take care of all of us. Hey, I suppose that's true. You know where you're going, Kinoa? Uh... Roughly. Oh. Hey, this place is... rumbly. Yeah, I guess so. There's a boar up there. We'll go sort of the long way around. Certainly ready for a nap. <laughs> I think we all are. Hey. I work for Mogul. Hello. You've got a problem. You talk to him. Oh, hey, look, it's Tilly. Who? Uh, Teldrincero. He's the the creepy looking dude over there. All right. Okay. So who's taking first watch? Ah. Uh, I think I will. Much as I'd like some sleep, I don't know if I can after that. 
I suppose that's fair. I'd be on the first ship off this island if I had the coin. What a waste. Uh, hi. Welcome to the Retching Nets Corner Club, home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Uh, I'd like to rent a room, actually. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. Excuse me. I'll show you to your room. Huh? Walk this way. So, more goods on first, or no. More goods on... Second? Eh, that'll work. I'll get my sleep thoroughly interrupted, since I don't really sleep that well anyway. And then Grant's gonna take the early morning? Sounds good to me. Alright. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Well, this is kind of nice. Hi, the room's here. Really nice. Hopefully better now that we can actually sleep without getting teleported all over the joint by a certain betentacled bastard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you're up early. Yeah. Ah, uh, much as I don't want to leave her here asleep, you should come with me. Why? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Alright. You're acting very strange. Yeah, I know. I promise it's not any- well, it's a little bit weird, but it's not anything like- I'll explain on the way. Alright. I trust you. So where are we going? Uh, back up to the temple. Oh great, what did you do? Well... Uh... Hi, sorry. I can remember where I'm going. So, I did defeat Mirak, technically. Technically? I broke him away from Hermaeus Mora's influence. Oh, good. Uh, if you have anything to put over your face, you might want to do it. Oh. Uh, I do. Do you? Eh, I've got my collar. I'll be fine. Oh, this is awful. Hi. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. This... You alright? Yeah. Right, so, what I did... I, uh... I defeated Mirak. I broke him away from Hermaeus Morv's influence. But in doing so, I gave him back his free will. Sort of. Technically, his free will is my free will right at the moment. I bent his. Is that why you needed that last word? Pretty much. Alright. And you're bringing me up to the temple because... Because presumably... That's where he is now. Oh, good. And I wanted... 
I wanted to leave the final say to you. I wanted to let you have the last axe, so to speak. Why would you do that? Because he's the reason that... Indirectly, of course, he's the reason that... You and Lopter are apart. And the reason that Storn is dead. And I'm not a skull, but you are, so... So you're leaving it up to me whether or not I want him to die. Well... <laughs> he's going to die either way. It's just which one of us does it. Surprisingly, that makes me feel a little bit better about this. And there he is. Oh, great. With cultists, even. So, take your time. All right, I'll try not to take too much time, but hi. Right. You know what? As much as I hate this bastard's guts... I don't think the Allmaker would be pleased if I'm the one who killed him. Besides, he's not the one who killed Storm. That was Hermaeus Mora. I know where vengeance gets people. I know where vengeance gets people. Well, I've made my decision. And I see he's still alive. I... I decided that... It might be best if I just... Go back to Skyrim and hang up my halberd for good. Rather than... Make Storm even more disappointed with me from... The Great Beyond? <laughs> yeah. I can see how you'd come to that decision. So what are you gonna do? Well... Talking to Arden about it. With Mordgood's book... thing. It occurs to me that... The two of us are really only free if he's still alive. Which... I'd kind of forgotten about until just now. So, I think I have an idea. I think I know a place to hide him away that Hermaeus Mora will never get to him. Oh? Yeah. Ah. Uh, you go find Mordgood. I'll meet the two of you back in Whiterun. Back in Whiterun? Where exactly are you going? Somewhere that you can only get to on the back of a dragon. Eh, nuts. As usual. Mm-hmm. That's me. <laughs> but... I think that's probably the best way to do it. So... 
I'll see you in Whiterun. Travel safe. Hey, you too. Be careful flying. Can he even come with you if you do that? I... I mean... He flew Sarotar, so I assume he can... He knows to hold on tight. I guess. Hopefully Odavin can hear me from here. Alright. We'll linger around Raven Rock if he doesn't come. <laughs> so... Good luck. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Alright, Mirak. You have no idea of the true power a dragonborn can wield. Hmm. And could you teach me? Oh. Well, that... <laughs> it's not exactly what I had in mind, but thanks. I think. Can you call one of them back from the grave from whence you sent them? I'm gonna need you to follow me. Then let us see who truly has the soul of the dove. Well... I certainly have the soul of something, for sure. Looks like... Things are clearing up here. Good. Maybe Kine is pleased with my decision. I'm kind of surprised the staff is still here. Less surprised about the dragons. So. Follow me. I definitely know a place where Hermaeus Mora will never find you. Though you might have to deal with Kine a little bit. Well fought, Dragonborn. Did you really have to do that? Suppose it doesn't matter. Welcome to Sovngarde. Pretty nice this time of year. Especially now that there's not a world-eating dragon taking up space. So, I don't think even a Daedric Prince would dare try to screw with anything around here. Kine would not be pleased. Listen to that thunder. The voice of Kine. Seemed pretty quiet for someone who was 
technically free. I suppose bending the will of people will do that to them, won't it? A little taste of what you gave to the people of Solstheim, I guess. Now, I'm not gonna walk you all the way up to the Hall of Valor, I don't think. I don't think Soon would let you up. Even if you were to beat him. Welcome to the Whale Bridge. And... The edge of the world, pretty much. I'll let you hang out around here. And so the first Dragonborn meets the last Dragonborn. Hm. And so it is. Welcome to your new home. Good luck getting back. Good news is... Well, the good news is that this means we're both free. Bad news is you can't go on with your world-conquering plans. I am done being Hermaeus Mora's Paul. Good. And you won't have anything... Any complaints, I suspect, about... Spending the rest of your days here. I don't think you'll ever die. I'm not sure people can die in Sovngarde. Especially now that Alduin's not here anymore. You do whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna take the opportunity to explore a little bit. I didn't do that the last time I was here. Just wanna see what's up here. Not a whole lot. Well, that's all right. It's good to be home again, kind. But I did promise to meet people in White Run. And I doubt my journeys on Nern are over quite yet. I'll see you eventually. Hopefully at some point he'll relax.
<laughs> Hi, soon. Been a while. Well, kind of. Um, could you do me a favor? 